How's it going everyone? It's Abdali here with another exciting Yokai Watch 2 tips and tricks video for bony spirits and fleshy souls. On this tutorial we're going to show you everything you need to know in order to get Grain Paw, one of the gateway yokai that's super rare and I would say he's one of the hardest yokai to find in the entire game aside from Pandanoko. So if you guys are excited for the tutorial, definitely smash that like button. Now of course the tutorial is going to be detailed on how you can get him. I'm not just going to say, okay, insert a green coin into the Krankakai and hope and pray that you might get him, because that is a way of getting him, no doubt. People have done that. But anyway, I'm going to do it so that you guys can go through and find out a more detailed way of guaranteeing him. So, of course, the first thing that you're going to need is his favorite food. Right over here in the Every Mart next to the Gourd Pond Museum has the shrimp rice balls. Six bucks for a top tier shrimp item, or a top tier rice ball item is really good. So I would definitely say stock up on some of those. Now, here comes the hard part, and you have to pay attention very closely. You're going to have to go home, and you're going to have to sleep for five days. Now, on the fourth day, you're going to have to save. So go through and count with me. Again, save on day number four, sleep all the way up to day number five. Now, the reason why we do that is because every time you go through and activate a yokai uh, spot, which is where Grain Paw's at, you'll need to reset the yokai spot simply by sleeping for five days. Every five days of sleep, it'll reset. But here's the strategy. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to actually save on the fourth day so that in case Grain Pod doesn't spawn on one of the yokai spots, we can easily soft reset and not have to go through and sleep another five days, which wastes a lot of time. So here we go on our fourth day, saving the game, all right? Pay attention. That's what you got to do. So now that we've saved the fourth day, we'll keep that in the back of our pocket. Now we're going to go through and sleep for the fifth day. So sleeping in the fifth day allows you to reset all the yokai spot spawns, which is awesome. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to take you through the route where you can go through and find one of five spots where grain pot will spawn in the mailboxes. Pretty insane. And it has taken me hours to collect all this footage over here. So it hopefully it doesn't take you that long. So warp over to Excellent Tower. Right in front of Excellent Tower over here, once you guys are going through, you'll see exactly our very first spot right over here, which is none other than this mailbox. Of course, we're gonna do a lot of cuts. We're gonna do a lot of cuts in this tutorial because there's no way you can go through every single spot in one go. So I had to go through, sleep for five days, record, sleep for five days, record. But anyway, this is the very first spot right outside of Mirapo. Once you guys go through and do that, you guys are gonna need to head all the way down to the train station area, and you're gonna search for a yokai spot over there. You wanna ignore any other yokai spots because they're all the way downstairs. So right over here is where your second potential spot can be. Now, when I was recording it, it was pretty easy. I Went to sleep for five days, and lo and behold, we had our very first uh, spot right over here. So this is good. This is uh, How's That. So you can go through, talk to him, and each one of these yokai will give you something. Of course, if you go through and you use that yokai lens, and it's not Grain Paw, I would immediately press start, go to title, and then retry. Sleep for one day, go from there. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys the third spot that you can find Grain Paw potentially. He's going to be right over here in this area, right next to that little tree right over here. And I'll show you the gameplay footage of it right there. Done. So go through, grab your yokai lens. Hopefully you can get Grain Paw in this spot. But of course, in this specific instance, I did not. And it'll take you many times. That's why it is so random how he shows up. But with perseverance, you guys can do it. So heading on out. Uh, head over this way. Uh, of course, if you're doing this route over here, you can simply head up north to the store, stock up on some shrimp rice balls. Uh, but of course, this is my fastest way of attaining all five of those spots where Grain Pa can go. Now, Grain Pa, oh my gosh. He is he's literally the Scranny of Yokai Watch 2. Scranny had the exact same concept in Yokai Watch 1. You had to sleep, you had to wait for a Yokai spot spawn. And then if you didn't get it, you had to go all the way back home, sleep again, find the spot, then go from there. So our, uh, our, our fourth spot is right over here in the corner, as you guys can see. Another, how's that? Get out of here, man. We do not like how's that. After this, you guys are going to hate how's that. You guys are going to hate Espy. You'll hate Old Fortune or Old Saint Trick. Whatever one of those guys come, uh, come over there, you'll, you'll start hating them. Trust me. 
because you, all the time that you spend, you spend like a good four minutes just getting it ready. But anyway, so come across over here, right past the academy. Now, over in this little area, right next to this light pole, you'll find the fifth and final yokai hotspot. So go on over here, and this is where it would be. Fifth and final yokai hotspot. Take a look at it. That's exactly where it would be. You guys can take a look at the map on the bottom screen over here. And none other than SB shows up. So go through, like I said, save on your fourth day, sleep to the fifth day, do that exact same loop that I did, and if you don't get anything good, do exactly what I did right over here. Press start, go to title, reload up your game, and then of course, sleep an additional day so that you don't have to go through and sleep for five more days. It's pretty much a shortcut and a way of saving time. As confusing as this is, if you just listen to what I'm saying, you guys will get grain pop. I guess I'm trying to say that in before all of you people in the comments that say, I don't get it, or this and that. So anyway, uh, I went through over here after a good couple of hours just doing that exact same loop, resetting, sleeping. We finally found this dude hanging out right by this crazy mailbox. And of course, you can do it when it's raining. It doesn't matter what the uh, weather conditions are, simply because I was able to show you that we were able to go through and do that with sunny weather and rainy weather. But as soon as you have him on screen, you need to save your game, I swear. Because the moment that you talk to him, he's going to jump into a battle right away. He's not going to ask you if you want a battle, and that'll be your one shot to get him. So if you didn't save, that stinks. Just saying. So anyway, luckily for us, we know how to befriend Yokai, right? We're masters of it right now. We've got over 100 hours into the game. We got the strategy. So go through, throw him the shrimp rice ball. Have a Yokai such as Shmoopy that can go through and use the popularity ability. My Shmoopy's got the superstar soul. I think it helps, and I've got results for it. So uh, other than that, you're going to need a Yokai that can possibly do some enemy and spirits, such as the Nosers, Darkion, anyone. So I went with the Nosers this time around. I was using them. Uh, so anyway, go through, tap on the screen. Hopefully you can find some hearts somewhere around there. Once you find the hearts, pretty much drill into it until you get your friend chance up. Now, of course, uh, aside from waiting for a wisp, a wisp to show up, you guys can go through and do some real good work. Uh, I switched over to Shogunyan over here just so I can do a moxie attack that's going to be so strong. I've gotten a lot of positive experience from ending a yokai battle with a moxie soul ultimate or even a soul ultimate. It works for me. I would totally recommend trying it for you guys. I don't know if there's anything in the coding that shows that that's exactly how to boost your chances of befriending, but works for me. As you guys can see right over here, getting your very own grain pa. Man, I don't know if you can like tell in my voice right now, but I, I've literally just got done getting him and I'm really upset with how long this yokai took to get. Just finding him. Finding him took so long. But hopefully this video will help you out. Anyway, here go some pretty fun nicknames. Uh, Chehan. Chehan. Ernest. Shrain. And of course, Old Rice. I don't know what any of those other names are. What is it, like Chehan? Chehan? Shrain? What are those? But Old Rice is pretty cool. Heck, I mean, he's a grain of rice, right? So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Grainpa. And of course, after beating him, he'll hook you up with some pretty cool shrimp rice balls. Wow, that's a $30 value. <laughs> uh, I want my time back, Rain Pop. You stole three hours of my life and I want them back. So let's go take a look at his medallion entry since we're here and we finally have Grain Pop. Um, I would say that he's, he's insane. A rare hungrams with a body made of rice. He's so kind, he'll let a hungry person eat part of his body if necessary. He's got the skill Blessed Body, so whenever he gets KO'd, everyone else in the front row gets HP, which is pretty good. Head Smack, Restore, uh, Rice's Kindness, and of course, Fresh Impact. So healing your allies and uh, doing a positive in spirit to generally uh, get more regeneration of health. He's okay. He's, he's not the best healer in the game. Uh, for the amount of trouble he's worth, he is, he should have been way better. But it's Grain Pot. What are you going to do about it? So let's go through and uh, summon him, right? He's part of Generation 1. So we're going to get a pretty cool summoning song, right? And you can take a look at his medal. It looks like he took a, a, a chunk out of his head 
and he's holding it to give to someone. That's pretty cool. Summoning Grandpa. Nope. No matter how funny you look, I will be forever upset with you because you you remind me of Scranny. And for those of you guys who are fans of my channel and witness me go through a Scranny live stream to try to get Scranny, it was the most aggravating yokai that we can possibly get. But anyway, this is Grandpa. Enjoy him. If you have a Grandpa, you now have a lot of value when it comes to trades because when people are looking for trades out there of course you know you have your staples like sailor Yon and robin Yon f were exclusives and your swell terriers and your static kings but grain pa grain pa is going to be up there i'm telling you the value of grain pa is super high because of how hard he is to get so Hopefully, if you guys are able to get your very own gram grain paw out of a green Cranky Kai coin, or if you did the rare grain paw hunt like I did in this tutorial, then you guys will be set to get pretty much any yokai you want in the trading market right now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Go through, watch the playlist, get caught up on all the different yokai watch tutorials. Of course, you guys can take a look at my newest video on the channel here, some recommendations. You guys can get some Abdallah swag right over here as well. Whew. Wow, that is one thing that is out of the way. Now I can go through and work on my Poofessor tutorial. So, enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next Yokai Watch 2 Tips and Tricks video. Bye.